Yo, it's finally time to check out Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 6. It is finally here. I am beyond hype. Let's go. All right, man. Let's do this. We're back in the present time. <laughs> oh, yeah? Have fun. What are these two going to get up to? Yeah, what movie are you seeing, bro? Human Earthworm 4? Ooh. <laughs> I'm sure you would be. I'm sure it doesn't have a consistent plot line, right? Oh. It's a romance story? Oh, man. Rom-coms eat your heart out, bro. We have a horror com here, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Uh... What the hell, dude? <laughs> That's me with uh, Rudius and Mushoku Tensei, bro. I uh, want to follow Mushoku Tensei, but I also really don't want to follow Rudius, you know? Yeah, and there's only a few special grades, right? There's only four special grades. Is the true rank. Yo, it's Mei Mei. And my brother, Yuji Itadori, dude. Toto. Let's go, dude! They're playing ping pong? Okay. Alright, so we're going on the mission with some first grades, huh? Yo, we got the animation going on, bro. Dude, we got the spin? Damn, dude. Why are they going so hard on a ping pong match? Other anime don't even get this for their big scenes, dude. Oh, he's he's guaranteeing it somehow? Yo, this guy is such a cool character, man. Destiny! Destiny. Oh. <laughs> Yo, his face. All right, what's going on here? Wait, what the hell? She's tall, dude. He knows Inadori from school. All right, so we're not watching the opening because I don't want to get spoiled on anything. However, I will be releasing opening one and ending one of this season two on the YouTube sometime soon. So look out for that. Let's jump to the episode. All right, man. What we got going on here? We following Nobara still? Oh. Oh, she had a glow up, dude. <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, you might have a chance? You don't you don't want to get involved with Itadori, Yuko. <laughs> what the heck is going on, bro? Who's she calling? Who is she calling? Ijichi. Oh, <laughs> yo, she shot that down fast as hell, dude. Never, never, bro. Bro, you really think he has a girlfriend? Come on, man. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> oh, my goodness, bro. The joke. Yo, it fits. Cheers, dude. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get this when we we uh, went into the first episode of this present day arc, you know? <laughs> Getting this whole romance segment. <laughs> she doesn't look anything like her old self, though. I think it's pretty reasonable. <laughs> oh, he knew. How did he know? Oh, <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> Oh, she overheard this conversation? Really? Okay. Who cares? That's rude, man. You know how you know how high school kids are. Aww. 
he's looking beyond the surface. Not many people can do that, even adults, you know? Oh boy, a curse? I feel like, dude, it's leading to something bad, man, right? I mean... <laughs> Pretty self-aware, man. I, they keep focusing on her shadow, bro. I'm telling you, man. All right, everything's okay now. But again, oh, they're focusing on her shadow again. That has to have some kind of symbol uh, symbolism to it, right? Or something's about to happen. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, what? I thought he was supposed to see it by himself. Who's there? Oh, the crew. Okay. Is this part of the first uh, grade assignment? That's right. They said there was possibly a traitor, right? Wait, they know. Wait, is it Mechamaru? They know who the mole is already? Dude, it better not be Miwa, bro. I like this character a lot. I don't want her I want to see her kill some curses, bro. Really? I wonder if it's really him though. You know what I mean? I feel like it might not be. But they seem to be pretty confident it is, so. Oh, he knew they were coming, so maybe he is the person that's behind this. Maybe he is the mole, dude. Wait, what? Wait, who's there then? Who's he expecting? Did he make a deal with them? To maybe like somehow re to fix his body or something? Wow, the, this dude really is the traitor. For what? Wow. <laughs> okay. That like took a second for me to register that. We'll kill him after we fix him because they have to fulfill the pact, right? Isn't there like a thing where you have to fulfill the pact or whatever? I can't remember if that's this series or not. Yeah, you don't want to be talking shit to Moh Mahito, bro. And this dude's crazy. Packs forward with others are very different from packs placed upon oneself. That's a thing to do with the curses, right? The packs and whatnot. It's very, like, intricate, like Nen from Hunter x Hunter, which is why I like it. So this dude's about to get his body back? A body that he never really had, dude. Bro, but then he's going to have to fight them because they said they're going to kill him after this is done. Bro, and he's by himself. There's nobody to, like to help him. Oh, it's time to fight. Oh, it's time, dude. Let's go, dude. Oh, snap. He got the puppets out. The puppet master, bro. The master of puppets. Cue the Metallica music. Yeah, restrain his ass. Oh, dude. Dude, Mecha Mario's gonna die, bro. We're not... We're not gonna lose the two main villains. My goodness. Oh, he didn't run! He didn't run! <laughs> he didn't run, dude. Bro, why isn't that translated? I want to know what the hell that says. Tell me in the comments, dude. It's looking like a Mecha Godzilla or an e Evangelion mech, dude. This is so sick. Really? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yo! True, because he knows what they're plotting because he was feeding the info. So he now knows what they're doing. So he's trying to escape so he can tell the sorcerers. That was his plan all along, probably. He never truly uh, intended to betray them completely. 
Yo, he has all the monitors up, dude. Let's go. Oh, shit. It's all the fights that Mahito had. One year. Wait, that's one year's worth of cursed energy? What the fuck, dude? Yo! Are you kidding me, dude? There has to be an after credit scene, right? There has to be an after credit scene. There ain't no after credit scene, dude. They really started it off like that. They started off with getting us in reintroduced to the three main characters, a little bit of comedy, a little bit of like romance, right? Set up for things. And then we went right into who the traitor is, found out the traitor was actually just manipulating the situation to get more information on what the Shibuya plot is while also fixing his body. And of course they're gonna hit us with a cliffhanger, bro. First episode back, we're getting hit with, hit with a fucking cliffhanger. What an incredible episode, man. Mappa once again cooking like they always do. They put awesome animation and everything on a ping pong game. Something that a lot of anime don't get in their biggest moments when they're airing, right? You have to absolutely love Mappa and JJK and the author of JJK. I want to hear your thoughts on this episode. As always, thanks for watching and until next time.